We cook for everyone in the state. So we adapt our menus on a very personal level and come out and see clients. And you can order almost anything under the sun from our kitchen. Hi, I'm Arlene Gent, the executive chef and owner of Gent Catering in New Haven, Connecticut. Today I'm going to be making for you one of my absolute favorite hors d'oeuvres, absinthe oysters. Uh, a lot of people ask me um, how to open oysters because they're always struggling with them, but it's actually quite simple. There's a small notch at the end of the oyster and you want to take an oyster knife that has a guard so that your hands don't slip. And we're just going to pop it right into the notch, give it a little twist, and then just pop it loose. Today's recipe is going to be my own version of an original Oysters Rockefeller. I'm going to, with a slightly warm pan, just add some bacon, which is hardwood smoked and nitrate free. So I'm going to add my mushrooms. And they're gonna cook right in the bacon fat. So now we're gonna add the absinthe and be careful because it is going to flare up a little bit. Lucid absinthe is made with lots of fresh herbs, um, several varieties, and has this amazing clean flavor. So then we're going to add some heavy cream. Oh, it smells wonderful already. And then we're going to add some fresh baby spinach. This is organic spinach. And you want to add your spinach in very small batches because while it's very, very fluffy, it cooks down and sweats very quickly into very small portions. So you end up using quite a bit more spinach than you actually think you're going to use. You're gonna have this yummy, creamy, flavorful filling for our oysters. So when the cream is fairly reduced, I shut off the burner, and I'm just gonna pulse it with my immersion blender so that we don't have these very thick, pieces of spinach while we're trying to eat a very delicate dish. Now I'm going to fold in just about a half a pound of some beautiful Jonah crab. It's not in a typical recipe of Oysters Rockefeller, but this is my rendition. You want to just evenly distribute the crab into the mixture. And we're going to be ready to fill our oysters. I have always loved to have and taste all kinds of cuisine from, I, from the time I was quite young until my adulthood. And I think the best way to enjoy all of those dishes is to create them on your own. And so I've developed an absolute passion for cooking. So now our mixture has cooled off a little bit and we're going to spoon some right on top. These can either go into a 425 degree oven just until the spinach is warmed through again and the oysters are only slightly poached. While our oysters are in the oven, we're going to work on the ingredients for our truffle foam. In the pan, I have six ounces of chicken stock and six ounces of milk. I'm going to add two ounces of these very thinly shaved white truffles. And once this is cooked, for 10 or 15 minutes and the truffles are nice and soft. We're going to strain them and chill the sauce. And then we're going to add it to one cup of heavily whipped cream. Today I'm going to be using a nitrous charged uh, Dream Whip canister. So my heavy cream is already in the bottle with the chilled and strained oyster stock. So we're going to plate these oysters on this beautiful silver tray, which they so deserve. And we're going to top this with our delicious white truffle foam. And here we have our delicious absinthe oysters with white truffle foam. And if you don't want to make them yourself, call me at 
Jen Catering in New Haven.